So in today's video, we're going to take a look at what's going to happen if the Holy Roman Empire comes back in the modern day. The Holy Roman Empire was one of the strongest empires in its time. And this is the Holy Roman Empire at its peak. But yeah, let's see what they're going to be doing if they reunite in the modern day. Now, if you enjoy watching mapping and cartography videos, then you guys can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Now, first off, the leader of this country probably is going to be Germany. Because, you know, most of the contribution to the empire is from Germany. But the capital city should be Rome. I don't want it to be Berlin because, you know, the Pope lives here. And the Holy Roman Empire also did not have one permanent capital. I just looked it up. You guys can also look it up on Google. But yeah, first off, the Holy Roman Empire is going to try to stabilize their country. But after doing so, we can see that the Holy Roman Empire declares war on Netherlands and Belgium. Now, these two countries were already pretty screwed. After the capture of Brussels, we can see that Belgium goes ahead and surrenders. And the Dutch troops are also unable to push back the Holy Roman Empire troops. And with the fall of Amsterdam, we can see that all of the Netherlands is taken and later on we can see that both these countries got completely annexed by the Holy Roman Empire. Now countries like France, Poland and Hungary are going to be militarizing their countries because they really do not like the expansion done by the Holy Roman Empire. But now we can see that the Holy Roman Empire is taking out their troops from the Netherlands and the troops are now going towards the border with Denmark and you all know what I'm going to do. And then this kind of happens. We can see that the Holy Roman troops are now pushing into Denmark and they've taken all of these parts of Denmark they're now trying to get to Copenhagen and with the fall of Copenhagen we can see that the remaining parts of Denmark just go ahead and surrender and in a peace treaty we can see that all of Denmark got completely annexed by the Holy Roman Empire which means that the Holy Roman Empire also now has Greenland huge success for these guys but yeah the invasion of Denmark was a huge success for the Holy Roman Empire and now the Holy Roman Empire is sending all of their troops down in the south on the border with Italy now Italy was already pretty screwed but one more thing is that the stronger part of Italy is the southern part so they might be able to resist against the Holy Roman Empire troops but once again the Holy Roman Empire is far stronger than Italy we can see that the Holy Roman Empire also makes a landing in Sicily and they eventually take out all of Sicily they push in from this part and with all of their major cities gone we can see that the remaining parts of Italy just go ahead and surrender and in a peace treaty we can see that all of these parts of Italy were completely annexed and the remaining parts of Italy are now a vassal state to the Holy Roman Empire the Holy Roman Roman Empire at this point is probably the strongest country in Europe. I mean, of course, not including Russia. And now the Holy Roman Empire is ready for a major invasion. And they're taking out all of their troops from Italy. And then they are deploying the troops on the border with Poland. And we all know what this is going to lead to. But at first, though, we can see that the Holy Roman Empire is getting pushed back by the Polish troops up in the north, also down in the south. Now, this is just because the entire army has not arrived. And the Polish troops are making some significant gains against the Holy Roman Empire. And they almost reached take all of the lost regions and they even push into Czechia. I mean what was Czechia before but now it's the Holy Roman Empire. Eventually though we can see that the Polish troops are now dangerously close to Berlin which is a major city for the Holy Roman Empire. But now the armies have finally arrived on the front lines. They immediately push back the Polish troops up in the north and they're now regaining all of the coastline. Down in the south we can see that the Holy Roman troops are now pushing in and they encircle a lot of Polish troops over here who are getting surrounded and devastated and eventually all of them surrender. Also keep in mind that the surrender troops are pretty much half of Poland's military. But yeah, now we can see that the Polish troops are pushed back all the way to their borders. And now the Holy Roman Empire is pushing towards Warsaw. And two armies eventually get to Warsaw. And the capital city of Poland falls. And with that, we can see that the remaining parts of Poland just go ahead and surrender. And in a peace treaty, we can see that all of the western parts of Poland were completely annexed by the Holy Roman Empire. And the eastern parts are now a vassal state to the Holy Roman Empire. And that was the end of the expansion in the east and the holy roman empire only has one final country to invade which unfortunately is going to be norway we can see that the holy roman empire is taking out all of their mediterranean fleet and they are sending all of their naval assets over here on the coast of norway we can see that the holy roman empire has blockaded norway from all sides but finally after five months of naval blockade we can see that the holy roman empire has made five successful naval landings eventually all of these troops meet up and they push around and capture all of these regions we can see that the Holy Roman troops are now pushing towards Oslo and the capital city was unable to defend itself and with all of their major cities gone which includes their capital city we can see that the remaining parts of Norway just go ahead and surrender and in a peace treaty we can see that all of the southern parts of Norway were completely annexed and the northern parts are now a vassal state to the Holy Roman Empire and yeah this is the Holy Roman Empire at its peak so this is also going to be it for today's video if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe leave a comment and tell me what you guys want to see in the future and thank you for watching